সালামু আলাইকুম সুপ্রিয় দর্শক মণ্ডলী আমরা আমাদের স্বল্প বিরতির পরে ফিরে এসেছি আমাদের এই সেগমেন্টে যে টপিক সেটা হলো ব্রিটিশ ফরেন পলিসি অ্যান্ড গাজা কনফ্লিক্ট আপনারা জানেন সারা ওয়ার্ল্ডে এখন কনফ্লিক্টসে ভরপুর কোথাও যুদ্ধ কোথাও মারামারি হারাহারি চলতেই আছে আর সেটার ইম্প্যাক্ট আমাদের ব্রিটিশ পলিটিক্স ব্রিটিশ লাইফেও প্রতিনিয়ত বিদ্যমান আপনারা টিভি খুললেই দেখতে পাচ্ছেন নিউজ পেপারে দেখতে পাচ্ছেন আমাদের ব্রিটিশ গভর্নমেন্ট সেখানে তাদের মধ্যে ফাটল ধরেছে এবং এবং এক পলিটিক্যাল পার্টিগুলো একে অপরকে কাদা সরাসরি করতেছে তো সেগুলো নিয়ে আমরা আলোচনা করব সেই সাথে আমাদের কমিউনিটিও নট অনলি কমিউনিটি সারা পৃথিবীতেই এই গাজা ওয়ার একটা বিরাট ইম্প্যাক্ট করেছে যে ম্যাসাকার কেউ বলতেছে ম্যাসাকার কেউ বলতেছে টেরারিস্ট কেউ বলতেছে ইনজাস্টিস কেউ বলতেছে দে রাইট টু এক্সিস্ট অল সোর্স অফ থিং নিয়ে আমাদের আলোচনা হবে আজকের এই টপিক্সে আর আমি যদি প্রথমে শুরু করতে চাই well I, i would like to start from matthew because last time i i think i started with uh, moni moni bhai uh, matt uh, again i would like to thank sir as you came here and as you is standing for 2015 election as you know the current government actually source of of uh, their it's not disarray i think it's, it's going to be a little bit hard uh, it's source of inside government they are uh, they are not cohesion they are no cohesion even the senior minister is inside the world see again re, uh, remember she was the only and first first and only muslim cabinet minister in the british history she resigned from her position and she clearly explained why she resigned yes the government is failing especially actually he she was fingering to prime minister he failed to uh, stop this is is long war you know as you know around 2000 people killed and at the same time other is israeli as well i think 67 to 66 uh, soldiers died as well so what is your opinion in this gaza conflict as you know you are standing in the area in batnagin and bow where people are really really touchy about it, this mm. thing and they are they got really emotion and how would you explain your view and how you stand this thing government view Well, you mentioned a number of very pertinent points there. Um, the first thing I would say is that uh, I can well understand why it's emotionally engaging for people to be watching the news at the moment, the news coming out of Gaza and the surrounding area. Uh, nobody of humanitarian uh, concern could fail to be moved by the, um, the prospect of uh, innocent civilians losing their lives. Uh, nobody could be failed to be concerned by armed conflict generally in the Middle East. With regards to side of Vasi, Baroness uh, Vasi's uh, resignation from the government, um, the first thing I'd point out is that if you look at the letter that she writes, she does very clearly state that she continues to support David Cameron as Prime Minister. However, you're right, she did set out her, her disagreement with the British government policy. I think it's a real shame that, uh, that Baroness Vasi stepped down. I think she was a very talented uh, minister. She was a very powerful communicator. Um, she had a background that was uh, different to many conservatives and, and certainly being from the regions myself and coming from an ordinary working class background, I was always attracted to her personalities. I'm genuinely sorry that she stepped down. What I would say uh, is that the United Kingdom today is not the power that it was uh, in uh, 1948 um, uh, or, or indeed 1945. Uh, we cannot but act with regards to the Middle East other than through international partners. So the United Kingdom government Um, uh, is part of the, the Middle East Quartet. It's, uh, it, it's representations to governments in the Middle East and indeed to the Palestinian Authority and to Israel as well are implemented via uh, uh, four uh, bodies, the European Union, the United States of America, Russia, um, Russia and, uh, and, and, and they, they operate through that, uh, through that prism. Yeah. Uh, now, the, it would be um, the UK moving outside of that structure would be left Uh, essentially almost voiceless with little influence, little access to either side, little ability to influence the events on either side of the, of the, of, of, of the dispute. So uh, m uh, m my view is that whilst I respect Saeed Avazi's resignation, and I regret her resignation, I think we need to carry on working through the Middle East Quartet and carry on uh, applying pressure to both sides to bring, to ensure that this, uh, this ceasefire that when I, at least when I, when I went to work this morning was uh, holding, continues to hold, uh, so that um, uh, we can minimize civilian casualties. Thank you, Matthew, for your opinion, but it's very interesting that you mentioned Quad Trade. I think, mm. it's, I think people, people are not happy, as, as, as you described. Quad Trade is not playing their role. As mm. you know, Tony Blair, he's the mm. Middle East um, the peace envoy in Quad Trade, actually. He's the mm. head of Quad Trade he is working on. Mm. But people are really is, is, is pessimistic about him. As mm. you know, he is there last seven years. Mm. He is there last seven years. Mm. 
realistically he did nothing. At the same time, he is not talking anything about this Gaza conflict right now, mm. as is, is the whole world is watching, even the British people so far, mm. I can see it's in EGOP, I think 56, 60, more than 56, not, I think more than 60 percent people are, are, mm. uh, are not supporting this conflict and they are supporting for Palestinian cause. Mm. Obviously, there is, there is again a question mark here and something maybe, uh, s some issues may be less than the right, but Quartet actually is doing nothing. It is just a step, it's a name, I think. But it's, At it's the same time, Tony Blair is, is a question of his credibility. Mm. Don't forget, he, he invaded Iraq. And look mm. at this Iraq, it's just, mm. it's, it's just scattered. Well, I think, I think, I think the, this debate can, can and probably will quickly move out in different directions. But with regards to the, to, to the, to the quartet, I mean, the, uh, that, is, that, that is the framework organization for those signatory groups to influence policy, both in Israel and in, and in Palestine. Now, if, um, if by criticizing that, that policy, that, that arrangement, Saeed Avazi was in the UK government alone to adopt a far more stringent, critical stance of the tactics employed by the Israeli Defense Forces in Gaza, I think the risk for the UK government, this is probably what David Cameron is concerned about, is that we will lose all say over and we will lose all access to policy formation within uh, Israel and within, uh, and as regards to how it affects Gaza City. The, the second thing I say as well is that um, uh, up until this very regrettable fallout, um, both parties, both, both Israel and negotiators from, from, uh, the, from, from the Palestinian authorities, from Hamas, were, uh, were talking, were moving towards what we must all hope is a two-state solution. Um, I'm afraid what, what, what polarizes both sides are act, unilateral acts of aggression, and we cannot view uh, is, uh, Israel's uh, um, uh, uh, intervention outside of the context of, 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 of Hamas's behavior as well. Um, I, think, I think, according to question, it, it seems difficult to me to see how you can adopt a more severe stance against uh, Israel without calling into question its right to self-defense, and no democratic state is going to voluntarily not defend itself against uh, you know, a, a rocket campaign that so far has fired nearly three and a half thousand rockets yeah, since the 20th, yeah, more than that, since, 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 uh, since uh, the beginning of July. Well, what Saida Warsi was telling actually is uh, he was expecting to, use as, as, as you know, say, is, um, George Osborne, he was mm. uh, criticizing her, it's, it's unnecessary. Mm. What she was trying to make them understand in the government that, mm. that in, his, in her uh, newspaper uh, statement and at the same time TV and all of this, he was trying to make understand to the government that you don't need to impose or you don't need to do anything. Just if you you got a good connection, you got a capacity, you got a mechanism mm. to stop at least this situation. And this proportional act, obviously, mm. is, is is not only came from UK government. It came from France, Germany, mm. almost all of these uh, major. Uh, even in America, in certain time, they criticized a little bit when they attacked in 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 UN facilities mm. as well. Mm. Even the hardest thing for her, so obviously from her all analysis, even Nick Lake, who was the Deputy Prime Minister, mm. the same time as Labour, uh, Labour leader Ed Miliband, he, they were telling as well Prime Minister didn't take the necessary steps to uh, minimize this uh, damage or, or a source mm. of, some people say massacre or, or genocide or some people is, is paraphrasing, is, is, mm. is war crime. Uh, so, how do you defend actually? Well, the, the uh, UK other government. parties. Other, yeah. other parties. Yeah. Um, well, it, it, interestingly, um, uh, there was a front page story in the Times, I think, a day or so ago, and, and there are some Labour MPs that are actually uh, suggesting that, that Ed Miliband's intervention in some ways makes it harder for the UK to work towards restraining uh, violence on both sides because it, it does to a certain extent. I mean, if, if the UK was to adopt the, the policy that Ed Miliband has adopted as Labour leader, we would alienate ourselves from having any influence uh, in, in terms of uh, the, the Middle East and peace process, uh, in terms of our relations with our allies, and also in terms of being able to persuade Israel to adopt a more conciliatory stance. Um, with regards to uh, the UK government ministers that you refer to, I think, I think actually what I would draw attention to is that both William Hague and then uh, Philip Hammond have urged um, uh, uh, the restitution of, uh, of non-violence and non-conflict mm -hmm. between Israel and Gaza. They've, they've, they've argued well, that Philip Hammond demanded uh, a ceasefire on humanitarian grounds. Uh, due to his efforts and others, there has been a ceasefire that seems to have held, and we must all hope that it continues to hold. Um, 
with regards to uh, to to, uh, to to placing um, to, to to allocate. I mean, you, you used a number of phrases in your uh, in your question. I think the the reality is that you have uh, a Palestinian population that is exceptionally poorly represented by Hamas. Yes, and you have uh, you especially have, you, in Gaza. It's, yeah, it's, it's called in Gaza, the, yeah. the world's biggest open prison. Yeah, as it, don't forget they are under blockade since yeah. 2007. It's yeah, just, uh, I mean. It's, it, it's, it's like you're living in, inside yeah. this poor wall. Oh, no, I agree, and it, 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 is, it, it is terrible. And, and believe me, I want to see an end to that as soon as possible. Uh, but it isn't simply uh, Israel that is maintaining the policy that it's maintaining. It, Egypt itself has also um, taken armed action to close down Hamas, um, smuggling routes into, in and out of Egypt. Uh, and actually, the Arab street as a whole has been remarkably muted over the yeah. last few weeks. Now, the explanation for that, I think, is that um, the attribution of blame and the explanation of causation, how is it that we've got to this point, isn't as one-sided as it is often suggested in some parts of the media. You have, uh, you have um, as, as I would argue, my analysis would be that Hamas's decision to unilaterally initiate a, a rocket and mortar campaign against, um, bearing in mind, the civilian target, indiscriminately against civilian targets in Israel, uh, was prompted probably by two things. Firstly, uh, the closing down of smuggling routes into Egypt and the, and the loss of tax revenues that that, that imposed on Hamas. Uh, and also, I think, what seems to have been maybe a rogue element of Hamas uh, kidnapping um, a group of uh, Israeli uh, hitchhike, yeah. hitchhikers and executing them. Uh, out of that has emerged this, this rocket campaign. Um, and it, and I, think, I think Israel is really trapped, trapped with regards to the action that it puts forward. I mean, it is, Israel faces the prospect of winning the battle that is to say, successfully def you know, c c destroying Hamas rocket sites, but losing the wider war. As you've rightly said, it's losing the wider yeah, public relations war. Now, I, I, relation I, at the same time, diplomatically, is, as, as even uh, Bill Clinton, he, mm. was, uh, he was telling some, I think some, some days ago, is, is mm. Israel is getting isolated than mm. ever. Yeah, yeah. Which, 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 you know, I mean, I, I, what I'm saying isn't driven by bias or partiality towards either side. I have no personal vested interest other than wanting to see an end to civilian casualties. But actually both Israeli and Palestinian civilians are the victims in essence of the course of action that Hamas has initiated. Um, and I think, yeah, I, think it's, I think it's absolutely right that all governments, both in the Middle East and internationally, apply, apply maximum pressure to both sides to ensure that to this ceasefire... Yeah, at least ceasefire. Pre uh, precisely. Uh, yeah. Precisely. Um, okay. I, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 is, it is no good, I think, unilaterally um, condemning one side in this conflict uh, without, you know, we, you need to look at both parties and where there have been errors and where there have been faults. And I think, to, I think to a large extent Hamas have been remarkably negligent and indifferent to the prospect of civilian casualties, it, not, 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 not just as a byproduct of Israeli intervention, but as a byproduct of, um, of, 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 of people being radicalized and used as suicide bombers, uh, as a byproduct of, of Hamas launched rockets landing in Gaza itself. Uh, they, they, I, think, I think there was a, a kindergarten uh, that was hit by a falling um, Hamas yeah, rocket. Um, I think there, there was, there was, there was, a, uh, there was uh, an outpatient clinic at, I think the, at the Reef Hospital that was hit by a Gaza rocket as well, uh, 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 a Hamas rocket fired from Gaza but again, as well. Uh, Whatever you're saying, but uh, it's again, it's the whole world is shocked because mm. they are firing a rocket. That's there is no. It's just source of self-defense. They are telling actually, because when Israel is is pounding, is is, is a massive. Of, I mean, is is bombarding everywhere in the mm. hospital, school, and even UN uh, facilities. So. Or, or well, how, how they will uh, defend themselves with this situation? I mean. Well, I, 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 Hamas's rocket and mortar campaign, um, I, I think it's very difficult to construct that as being a self-defensive operation. It's, 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 I, I would say it's pretty clearly an aggressive operation. Um, and you, you mentioned, you mentioned uh, UN schools and you mentioned hospitals. Uh, I, 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 again, there were, there were reports in the international press of, of uh, Hamas rockets being fired out of the car park of, 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 of Rifa Hospital in, in Gaza. Um, the UN Relief uh, um, and, and Works Agency yeah. um, reported that one of its premises was being used for the firing of rockets at Israel. It's very difficult, it's very difficult I think, to construct it's Hamas. It's very difficult to justify. It's, it's, very, it's right, exactly yes. difficult to justify. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and indeed the location of, uh, of Al Qasim rocket brigades in densely populated civilian areas. Um, now, now, again, I, again I, don't, 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 don't forget that uh, Gaza is, mm. is, 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 is a very tiny place, yeah. it's a very small place. Obviously, the population is going to be. Yeah. Mm. All yeah. right. Uh, Matthew, I will come back to you. It says, uh, let's see, is, is Mr. Mani, actually, Mani Bhai, uh, the Matthew J. Otagola Bultisulan, he was uh, giving explanation of all of these things, how. Uh, 
Well, it is very difficult. It is very sad. It, it, it touches everyone's heart. Mm. You know. Tragic. It's, it as, not, as it's, not, it's not pleasant to see children, women, and innocent people are being killed. Sorry, after Judy, I to Bangla, mm. I mean, okay. sorry, Matthew, I was, because as you know, our viewers are Bengali. Definitely, I will, if any point, no, 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 please, I, will, I, will, yeah. I, will, I will translate to in English. I will translate to in English. I will a very important topics for us is people are mm -hmm. very much connected with this. So, इजराइल मन कर ইসরায়েলের যে সরকার ছিল সে সরকার ছিল একটু উগ্রপন্থী সরকার আচ্ছা আচ্ছা আর হাওয়াসা তাদের ওই যে বলছেন ওপেন প্রিজন মধ্যে ছিল তাদের নানু তাদের অনেক দোষ আছে অনেক কিছু করা আছে কিন্তু তাদেরকে যেভাবে বন্দি করা হয়েছে দে আর কাট অফ ফ্রম দি রেস্ট অফ দি ওয়ার্ল্ড না তাদের সাথে কোনো যোগাযোগ ছিল না তো তখন তারা আউট অফ ফার্স্টেশন তারা এই কাজ করে করেছে যারা এবং সবচেয়ে বড় জিনিসটা যেটা হচ্ছে ইসরায়েলকে হামাস একটা ট্র্যাপ এটা এটা ছাদ এটা ফাঁদ পেতে ছিল स्टाडी very interesting thing is 25% population in israel they are arab indeed, indeed. so mm -hmm. they are muslim mm -hmm. around 24% or yeah. 25% yeah. so if any country is come as a jewish country and that means you are ignoring your 25% people of arab origin at the same time what is their argument that israel actually is is so of their are forming their countries in occupied land well we, 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 i mean th there are again a number of historical points that you've alighted on there and and i i i'm mindful of not rolling off in different directions um uh, it's, it's important to point out that uh, uh, that arab israelis and arab israeli muslims are as much of a victim of hamas's rocket campaign as 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 jewish israeli citizens are <coughs> as well as indeed as are palestinian civilians um with re with regards to uh to to the, the 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 constitution of the state of israel it's important to remember that there's an arab israeli that sits on the the israeli supreme court it's important to remember that there are Ar arab israeli representatives in the israeli knesset uh, and it's also i i think it's probably also true to say as well that uh, if you look at the civic rights of of arab uh, israeli muslims in israel they're probably better observed than you're likely to find in almost any other yeah, state that uh muni bhai yeah. uh, what we are talking is Israel is not leaving the blockade that is couple of reason they are telling us if we l l l open up them they will import arms, uh, arms mm. from uh, Iran or any other country mm -hmm. at Shut the up. same time uh, Hamas is telling if you don't allow to go open movement and and if you don't break this blockade mm -hmm. we will not go for peace process as uh, well uh, and they will they, they never recognize Israel as well बदनामी जनगणल ওই ট্রেপ কর ওই যে হামাস যে ট্রেপ করে রাখছে না যে বাচ্চা মহিলা এবং ওই সাধারণ মানুষের মাঝখানে নিয়ে ওদের রকেট লঞ্চার ওদের ওই মিসাইল লঞ্চার রাখে তো ইসরায়েল তো ন্যাচারালি এখানে গিয়ে অ্যাটাক অ্যাটাক করবে বললে তো সাধারণ মানুষের কাছে বুঝবে দেখবে যে মানুষ ইসরায়েল তো উন্নয়ন করতেছে আপনি যে পয়েন্টটা বলছেন সেই পয়েন্টে যখন আই থিংক আই মেনশন অল দা অলরেডি अबाउट বিল ক্লিনটন এন্ড জাস্ট আই ওয়াল আই ডিড নট রিড অল অফ দিস হোল বুক এজ ইট ইজ জিমি কার্টন He wrote a book actually, the Palestine Peace Not Apartheid. Is that he compared this Israel to their activities and now, so you, and? So you both say that it is no own situation for anyone. Israel among Hamas, do you know the pressure of the Turkish government? 
I don't know. Yeah, as yeah. we know, it's since the creation of Israel, since 40, 1948, I, I'm sure it's, I mean, both sides, peoples are suffering at the end of the day, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and, and there is no no peace, I mean, as you know, it's lots of accords, mm -hmm. it's camp it's it's lots of agreement, but there is no real peace. Peace now. You do not have আচ্ছা <laughs> And end of the day, man, the two percent of the peoples of the both right. sides they are suffering. Right. As one very good point, actually, Matthew mentioned, as as is a Muslim world, is a is a is a very interesting thing. Is Quite. Israel is a very tiny country, you know that. Mm -hmm. Surrounding is all of this Arab, Arab nations, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt. Oh, ten it's different countries. We are sometimes we are pushing Israel. Oh, why why they are not opening blockade? As as he 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 mentioned, is very good point actually. Egypt is a Muslim country. They are not allowing them even their border. But they don't want to be part At of the this. Same time, Saudi Arabia, they are not, say, they are not say telling say anything. anything. Where is Arab League? They are not telling anything. anything. Where is your neighboring yeah. all of this part of well, the country? Nothing. They are obviously not telling anything. The, this is as uh, obviously, this is, uh, so this is a war which will not solve any problem. So what we can see, actually, sometimes, is it not a mis wrong source of wrong concept that sometimes we blame, waste, and uh, it's, it's, it's obviously it's, it's including American and Britain as well. And at the same time, you see, is is one country and surrounding all of these powerful, rich is is Gulf Arab nations and mm. are not Muslim nation. They are not playing their role actually. Obviously, they, 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 obviously they have they have different perceptions. You see, again, 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 Saudi Arabia is is one line of power, and Iran is another line of power, and two powerful Muslim nations are against each other. Iran is against Saudi Arabia, so they are against Iran. So they are both playing their games. And the funny thing, you look at this, is, 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 is a severe situation in mm. Gaza. At the mm. same time, at the same time, look at the Syria and Iraq, is, mm. there is a new forces rising, is Islamic Caliphate is called yeah. IS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the funny thing is, is people are telling is they are funded, supported by so the Saudi Arabia government. government yes. and, and, the, and they are using American expertise as well. They're, they're playing privately, they're hiring American Is it not like, is it like, uh, sometimes, well, it's maybe my opinion actually, sometimes I think it's like, is uh, Soviet invasion in Afghanistan when uh, obviously it's America was helping uh, the Mujahideen and they became Al-Qaeda later on. Mm. At the same time now, in Iraq and this IS, one day they will come back and, and, and they will jump on top of uh, Saudi regime actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I don't know how, how far they can go. That's a different, different direction. But at the moment, why Muslim want is the supporting the uh, Hamas? Because it's this, this two political uh, line of thought. One is Iranian line of thought, which is which is Shia. Another is Sunni line of thought, which is Saudi Arabia. And they are against each other from historical point of view. Uh, thank you, good opinion, and, and Matthew as well. Shukriya Dosh, I a very vast topic, sexually, I have a lot of people who have a lot of people who have a lot of people who have a lot of As Matthew, he is standing for MP in local Vietnam, obviously his point is very important for the community. At the same time, is is our Obigo Munivai, she is doing a lot of our opinion is shown. Even our community is very good. Residents are very good. Our end of the day, our community is very good. 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 Our community is our a peace process is not the creation of Israel since 1948. This conflict is not the same. The government is just especially West they are playing their uh, card and, and just keep continuing. End of the day, Safar Hutis is Israeli, just Shadaran Jonagon, Sheshat Palestinian Shadaran Jonagon. Our Amrashetar Bichar Kurbo, our opinion of Shotik Babe. Uh, judgment color are uh, 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 u
আর আমরা অনেক সময় কনক্লুশন দেই যে এর দোষ ওর দোষ এটা না দিয়ে করতে থাকি তো ঠিক আছে আপনারা আমাদের সাথে থাকেন উই উইল কাম ব্যাক আফটার শর্ট ব্রেক আসসালামু আলাইকুম